Okay, good morning. This is Venice 79, and we have the pleasure to be with, with director Noah Baumbach and actors Greta Gerwig and Adam Driver to discuss their latest movie called White Noise, presented here today. White Noise opens officially the Mostra and is also in competition. So thanks a lot for joining us, to all of you. Thanks, thanks, really. Um, Mr. Baumbach, the film is based on a 1985 uh, homonymous novel written by Don DeLillo. Um, what's the thing that most fascinated you in that story, the thing that you were most interested in making a movie out of it. Well, the book has an uncanny, uh, is a, an uncanny thing about the book, I should say, is that it feels like it's, when you're reading it, like it's about what's just been going on. And I, ha I happened to be rereading it right as we went into the pandemic and lockdown in New York City. And I saw so many similarities and, and I, but I also was aware that if I had been reading Rereading this book, um, you know, after 9/11, or uh, I mean, it, it really at any other kind of major moment in in, in my history in in America, uh, I would feel the same way. And I thought, well, I think there's an opportunity here to make a movie that that you know could could be as crazy as the world felt to me at that time, yeah. and still does. Yeah, absolutely. And um, Mr. Driver. Uh, uh, Jack Gladney, you play the role of Jack Gladney, he is a family man and a professor of literary studies. Um, how did you approach this particular role? You know, just, uh, this is an obvious answer, but you just read the script and that's, that's basically it. And the costume and the hair and all that stuff influence how you move and then you know the lines and then you listen to what other people are saying and you show up and that, that's it. <laughs> So, uh, this is... You feel the camera just <laughs> yeah. move over as you're talking. It's coming to me. Yeah, now it's kind of <laughs> zooming out. Now it's going to go to Greta. You don't know where it's going to go. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to go back. There it is. Mrs. Gerwig, you play the role of Babette, who is Jack's fourth wife. Yes. Uh, what kind of woman is she? What was your first reaction about her when you read the script? Well, Babette, um, in the book and in the script, is... Uh, uh, obscure in a way. She's a mystery in a way. She seems um, kind of how Jack sees her at the beginning. Um, in a way, we, we talked about the, the trope of 80s moms in movies um, and the sort of, you know, slightly dizzy, slightly out to lunch, but, you know, a good, solid, reliable, they're good for a laugh, and they're, you know, everybody makes fun of them lightly, but loves them. And then the truth about this woman is there's something deeply wrong, because, of course, nobody's okay, <laughs> um, actually. Um, and, and I think that that was what was so compelling about Babette was in the book when she finally sort of says what's going on that you kind of have this, oh my God, this is, this is um, so far from the cliche of this woman. Um, but it uh, sort of allows her to become human. And I think um, finding that balance of a character that's um, a bit unreadable, but then, you know, as an actor, you have to know what's actually going on. Uh, it, it was it was sort of finding that like how much do how much is she a stranger to herself and how much does she know and I think that that's something that you know every, everybody has different levels of but I I loved Babat right away <laughs> I was I I I had an image of her in my head and I think um, you know with Anne's uh, Anne Roth, the costume designer's help, and Mia, with the way it, 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 she she really came to life how I I saw her, and that was um, you know that was very exciting uh, because I haven't acted in a long while, and it was exciting to feel that thing of ah that's the person I thought that it was. So, Mr. Driver, I w would like to ask you, uh, as um, Mr. Bombach correctly said before, uh, this is a, a 40 years old story, uh, but uh, as uh, all the great stories, the great stories comes from the future. So, the, this story uh, was about the future 40 years ago, and this movie talks about the future today. Um, how did you put together all of this? Uh, put together what? 
uh, your uh, your interpretation, your uh, um, because it, it, it's a, a movie with a lot of things inside. And uh, yeah, I, I mean, look, it, it is timeless. I, I think because it's well written and very specific. You, you know, where it, it maybe relevance is what you're talking talking about things that are really well made I feel like are always relevant you know death of a salesman is always relevant you know sweet sell smell of success is always you know uh, relevant I think this book is it's specific and and well crafted well written so it'll always be I think relevant for, you know about a big you know, idea but, but uh, play you can't play any of those ideas uh, and actually to I didn't quite find my way in until we had a, a read-through of um, the script the um, together uh, uh, for the first time and, and li like 20 pages in uh, somehow it just for me it clicked I don't know for everybody else but I don't know what it was something about the pace or not not trying to intellectualize anything we were saying and just was kind of the point you know it had such momentum and that's kind of the uh, big uh, something to hang my hat on in the movie these people are so distracted or are, are trying to be so distracted the, uh, by occupying with be with everything else by the white noise of you know I'm sorry to quote the title but of of life of uh, the kids and the job and the relationship and everyone's relationship to death that they're they're doing everything to not focus on the thing and that was a good uh, momentum throughout the whole movie is is as long as just keep going and then and then we'd earn our pauses when we when we had them in the script that uh, then all of the things that we've been trying to suppress the entire movie hopefully would have meaning when we because uh, there's so much dialogue in the movie what does it mean when there is when there is silence you, you know so that, that that to me was helpful but all the the intellectual ideas of you know what the themes and things like that I don't I don't get so uh, bogged down with because I can't if they're hard to play it's not a playable thing you know what I mean okay okay Thanks a lot, we are done. Uh, I wish the best of luck with this movie Thank and you. thanks again for, Thank you. Thank for, you. Very much. for being with us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.